you can you can go ahead and ask your question let's see how to um the the concern that i i have is to do with the the really because i'm i'm failing to understand how these markets move because uh, i don't know whether i'm i'm making a very big mistakes to trade anywhere or or why because i always end up in the lose um on the root side but i'm seeing it caused by the i'm failing to understand the market structure seriously that one uh, but the concern which i have uh, really i'm failing to understand how these markets moves because Whenever I enter that, I see probably to say that no, there's a possibility here the market return and it hammer. It it go first in brew, and after some time it reverse back and it chops the whole man. Okay, so so can I come in? Yes. It's okay. Uh, I guess you can see my screen, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, First is that structure. You need to master but, structure. But the sound, is, is the sound okay with you there? Yeah, I can hear you clearly. Okay. So first you need to understand the structure. What's the structure? Um, you are talking of the trend of the market. You are talking of price action, what price has been doing because it's what price has been doing that enables you to know what price will do. It's like a forecast. You can tell what price will do from price history. So you must understand what price has been doing. And I've said it again and again that you have to know this from a higher time frame, which possibly should start from the weekly, okay? So um, I'm going to use two assets to illustrate this for you. But before I do that, let me show you this. Let me pick this two. If price is going in this direction, what do you call this? That's uptrend. So if you want to buy, mm -hmm. you will have to allow price return to this zone. That's the only place you want to buy. So even if, even if market is here, you can't buy from here. People don't wait to buy when price is high. They want price to be low to buy. And they sell when price is high. It's the same principle that applies. So if price is bullish, it's in an uptrend, you want to be patient enough for price to come here. So whatever price is doing around here really doesn't matter. Price can give you all of this movement for days allow price to come back here until price coming before you want to start buying that's what we have thought over and over again and that's what you must um you should be able to get once you get this half of your problem is already solved please just focus okay so now if price but, but, pastor can i ask you something go ahead sir can I wait for the price to come this side, even the weekly? The weekly, that's what I have to wait until it reach here. If you are trading on the weekly, allow it to come here before you look for buy opportunities. Then while price is coming, you can sell down and come and buy from it. But don't try to buy from up here. Don't try to buy. Mm. From Rather, you can look for selling opportunities here. If you must buy, mm -hmm. allow price to come to this zone. Or at best, 50% of the entire move, which is your discount. So if you bring out your Fibonacci, you look for buy opportunities below 50%. Mm -hmm. So that below 50% might be an order block, might be a fair value gap, whichever one. But mm -hmm. we buy from discount zone. So if I see price at this zone, I want to see if I can get the selling opportunities down. If I get the selling opportunities down, 
I'll get in on the trade. But if I didn't get the selling opportunities, be patient for price to come here. So if you identify your overall structure on the weekly, okay, let's say here's a weekly zone, and you are waiting for price to come in. While you're waiting for price, price gives you this move. Gives you this move. Gives you this move. Now that price has given you this move, this is already a break of structure. This is a break of structure. Price is telling you that I want to continue my bearish formation. I want to come here for the buy opportunities. So I can start looking for selling opportunities here. Now this is the internal structure. Let me remove this now. This is your internal structure. Price is coming. You can see that. Time frame is that? If this is weekly zone, this might be four hours. Yeah. This will be four hours zone. In the four hours, you will see this movement, a high, a price creates a low. So on that four hour zone, I would be interested in selling. So I'll wait for price to come back here and I'll sell from here. It then means mm -hmm. that on four hour zone, I'll, I'm not going to sell here. No, you won't sell here to sell down here. No, you have to allow price to return back here. Price returns back, say, you sell now to this zone. Price did this, you sell back. So you can look for another selling opportunities at this zone. This zone. Because this is the structure you now have on your four hours. Okay? You have a high, you have a low. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. You have another high. What are you expecting? You have another low. So after the low, I won't sell from here and I will not attempt to buy from here because this is a retracement for the real trend on the weekly. So in this four hours, four hours retracement, you wouldn't be looking for buying opportunities here. No, allow price to return back here and then you sell from here. Because you want to always look for where to put your stop loss and your take profit. So if you are entering here, if you're entering here, your stop loss will be here. So if you are buying here, where will your stop loss be? Nowhere. You can't buy here and put your stop loss here. So you sell at this place, put your stop loss here. Then you take profit here. Then when price comes to this zone, since it's a weekly zone, we want to see at least a four hours. When I say at least, I mean at least a four hours worth of structure. Four hours, you have to break structure on four hours. Sorry, market, you have to give you a complete shift. And when price shift, you will not buy from here. You won't just buy from here because this is the weekly zone. No, you allow price to give you this shift. Now that you see this break of structure, you want to allow price to return back, then you buy from here. So on the four hours, price will give you this momentum on the four hours. Price shifted to the upside, price can come, create this, go up, come back, and you now buy from here. So I'm not going to engage by, let's say price, so price came, I marked it on the weekly, now it's four hours, let me jump in here. No, it is structure, you have to trade the structure, allow price to show you what it is doing. When price broke here, price has given you a break to the upside. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. So you want to wait for price to come back here. Possibly price will come and take out this first move. This first move, this becomes your inducement or your liquidity. The people that bought this, price will come and take them out. Then when price does mm -hmm. that, price comes and tap into your entry. So if I mm -hmm. want to enter this trade, this is what I'm going to have. You can now put your entry here. Your stop loss will be here. So stop loss is here. And your take profit will be up here. The previous high. That will not be a take profit. This is how your trade will look like. So the previous high for, for the week. 
for the week because for you hours. take profit. No, not for four hours. Because four hours, yes, for four hours now, you can take partials here. That's when I say you now know how to manage your trade. You can take maybe 50, 60% of your profit at this high and hold the rest because you know in a bigger time frame, price is coming to take this high. So TP1, you can take TP1 from here because price will not just push like this. Okay, this is what price we always do. It's structured. Now price created this high, created this low. So price created another high. What are you expecting? Price will create another low. Price will create a high. So possibly the move that will take, please pay attention, the move that will take the high might be too like this. So price gives you first opportunity to get in on the trade. In case you miss that first opportunity, then you can get in when price returns back to a fair value gap here. Mm -hmm. So this is... Uh, Pastor, Mo Pastor right. Moses, right. Um, um, this when you said take the, po I mean, take, take the, the portions. Yeah. What do you mean by say take profit? If the, the trade is running, if it's Are running, saying in, that if it's running in place, close the... you close partial. Let's so assume. Should... You, hold on. Let me explain. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Let's assume you enter your trade with 1.0 lot size mm -hmm. on your MT5, and mm -hmm. it's already on. Let's say twenty dollars profit or fifteen dollars profit. You can now mm -hmm. close 0 0.5 profit. So out of the twenty dollars profit, ten profit, $10 profit will be added to your equity, to your capital. Then you allow the other $10 mm. to keep running. That's what it means to take partials or take mm. some profits. Oh, okay. No, it's clear there. So this is exactly what you're going to find. So now I want to take you to uh, one asset. Let me show you what I just explained now. Let me show you as it is, okay? So let me use VIX 51. I saw something interesting there. Uh, we're talking about i think with one of the students today now this is daily we don't have weekly on trading view so please pay attention this is daily if mm -hmm. i pull the screen together you will see that we have been bearish is that not so yes why because price has been trading to the downside you see price gave this high gave this low what's the next thing price created a high so if you wanted to sell, you will have to wait for price to come here. This is daily. Do you know how many days you waited for price to come here? This is more than how many candles? This is June 2023. Price created this low. Price came back in June, sorry, June 20, June 2nd, and price came back there June 20. So you waited for 20 days to take one trade. Mm -hmm. But that one trade okay. gave you a very long move because you traded. It's like you're being distracted. Your eyes are moving everywhere. What's going on? Me? Yes, your eyes are hopping everywhere. Ah, uh -uh. I'm in the car. Oh, okay. maybe I'm checking on those cars which is passing there. Because okay. there's a view down there. Uh, uh, all right. So, thing is where I'm following. It's all right. Because I'm using the mobile. I'm using oh. the mobile. Okay, okay. Not your laptop. I'm not right. on the computer. Okay. So from this mm -hmm. low, price was mm -hmm. here on the 1st of June. And after 20 mm -hmm. days, price came to this one. So this was the best place to sell. So if you were to sell this this uh, asset, you will have your entry there. Then stop loss at this high. And then you want to take profit from this low. Did price get to the low? Yes, sir, it got to the How many days? Look at it on the 21 till around on the 4th of the next month. Over 14, okay. 15 days before price got to the door. So okay. when price came here, you'd have gotten a lower time frame entry. But we can't fetch that information now, so let's leave that. After price created this low, look at what was created. Price ran, created this low. When price created this low, you see, price was came and created the high. Where did price create that high? You see that fair value gap? That was where price came. All right, price came to all of this queue here. 
So it waited for an entry here or an entry here. Price didn't come here, but price came to a fair value gap here. After which, mm -hmm. you had entry here, maybe stop loss around this zone. Price came, created this low before price came and created this high. Price created this high. Price didn't come to this size. It's understandable. Mm -hmm. Sometimes price mm -hmm. will not give the entry, but just follow it. Price created this high. And price ran away, created this low, created this high. So clearly we are bearish. Is that not so? Price created this yes, low. Yes, Price created this high. So please just follow me carefully. Price ran and kept creating all these lows. Now see what happened here. You see what happened? Price created this low. Price created this high. Price created this low and price created this high what do you call that it's a high it's not a high it's a break of structure. it's a break of structure why because it broke the previous high is that correct mm -hmm. yes so when price broke the previous high you want to wait for price at this zone this zone you have to wait there it's a daily time frame you know how many days before price came here you have to wait here that's a typical example of what i showed you you have to wait for price to come so you can start selling to come to this zone on four hours yeah. you can start looking for selling opportunities to come here but if you are going to buy you must buy from here not at the middle so look at it there was selling opportunities here i'll go to four hours and i'll show you we're selling opportunities here now price came here you want to look for buy opportunities here so let's talk about the selling opportunities here Overall, I know I'm going to buy, but I want to sell while I am waiting. Are you following me now? Your volume, touch your volume. I can't hear you again. You are muted. Touch your volume, please. All right. Okay. Can, can you hear me? I can hear you. Now. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So this is where I want to buy. This is the only buying zone I want to buy because it's your lows. At this place, I'm going to go to um, a four hours. Let me go to four hours. Let's see the selling opportunities that were here. Look at it. Okay, that was the high. Okay, so let's see the selling opportunities. Look at the high. Watch me. Let me use this. Price created this high, created this low. Price came, created this, created this, created this high, created this low. Is that correct? Yes. Price created this high, created this low. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Price created this high, and it was mm -hmm. created this low. Breaking all these lows. What do you call that? structure that's a break of structure to tell you that i want to start selling going back to that zone where you are going to buy so now that price has given this break of structure what are you to look for selling opportunities only on four hours so you can see there's a fair value gap mm -hmm. there this is what price did price mm -hmm. traded back into the fair value gap so that would have been your entry. Now that price came here on the four hours, you can now check 30 minutes to get entry here on the four hours. Price came here. You can as well, if you have a lot of equity, you can as well sell from here. Maybe 50% of all of these fair value gap, okay? And then stop loss at the high. Then you want to first of all take profit from this low, from this low, all the lows until you get to your zone where you are going to buy okay you see what price is price actually came and price kept going low going lower taking all the lows so i can remove this now now that you have um, sold go ahead can i ask him something go ahead, sir. now i want to ask when the this the market moved back to that uh, February February gap. Yeah, it's February gap. Yes, February gap. Yeah. 
or spare value gap. Spare value gap, you are correct. Yeah, yeah. when it reached there, yes. what should I pay attention to? When price reaches here on the four hours, you can either do two yes. things, two things. Play 50%, are you seeing what I used? Play 50% mm -hmm. of the fair value gap, look at the 50%. Or mm -hmm. go to a 15 minutes and look for another break of structure to get entry. To downside? Yes, that's if you want to have a lower uh, stop loss. Okay, you can either go. To, so let's check these four hours. Let's check 30 minutes or 15 minutes. Okay, that's I'm using another time frame lower. One time frame lower than the time frame. Yeah, the fair value gap was. So let's see. That is four hours. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's see, 30 minutes. If there was an entry on 30 minutes, let's see. Okay, you see the fair value gap? Okay, mm -hmm. 15 minutes would have been better. Let's see 15 minutes, please. 15 minutes would be better. Okay, so that. But right, I use 15 minutes and 30 minutes. So let's use. Um, okay, that's 15. That's the zone. Don't forget, that's the zone. Now, price has return back to the zone i didn't buy all this mm -hmm. because i don't want to buy i'm waiting for sale so patiently allow price to come here now when price come here you want to wait for another break of structure and that was the break of structure you see price close below this low this structural point this is structural point mm -hmm. yes so you see that price rally or touch the 50 percent of the fair value gap and close below this place that becomes a confirmation, like it should give you some more confidence that price really want to go down. If price didn't want to go down, price will not break um, below this place. But you see price broke below this place. Now that price has broken below this place, let me remove this. What can you find here? Fair value gap. Yeah, you see another fair value gap. That's your entry. Either 50% of that fair value gap or the open of the fair value gap. So you have just had your entry there peacefully, 50%. And the stop loss at this high now. So you have the stop loss here. You see, you have reduced the stop loss. You have reduced it. So first take profit. You want to take this low or this low. This entire low should be your first take profit. Because this is where price was retracing back to your four hours fair value gap so this is your first take profit so if price come to this low take half of your profit so the price came and traded and came to your take profit is that correct yes because after price took the low that price retraced back price took the low price retraced back came swept this liquidity gave another break of structure here and price ran away so let me open it. I just had a break of structure for you to say you want to look for only selling opportunities. Look at a high below a high, and price created this. Price started changing momentum. High lows, high price broke here. So when price broke here, you start looking for maybe something around this zone to play. I've been looking for something here. Price traded here, price it didn't touch. And price broke here again, ran away. So let's see, the price come back. The price didn't give you entry here. Or price didn't come to this one, but there's a fair value gap here. Okay, so let's go to four hours now so that you see how price started trading down. So this place, this portion is still here, where price broke structure, where you want to buy from. You see, price started trading down. Trading down, trading down, gradually. A high. What do you see? A low. Price came, took out this, traded into this zone. That was the zone, and price broke the low. So price will keep breaking the lows. Price created here. Look at. Price created this high. Created this low. And what can you find? Price closed above. Is that correct? Yes. So what do you call that? That's a break of structure. And that is happening mm -hmm. at your 
daily zone where you are looking to buy. So now that price has broken structure, what do you do? Start looking for buy opportunities. Now price has broken structure, so you have to close yourself. Now you want to wait here for a buy opportunities. So I remove this now. But let me yeah, let me remove that to so have a clean chart. Why do I want to buy from here? Price came here, broke above this high. This was a high. This was a low. Price gave a higher high. Is that correct? Okay. High, a low. Price broke structure. So now that price has broke structure, you know that price will come back inside. This last candle, which is your other block. See that last candle? That was this, mm -hmm. this last sell candle. Not the buy candle, this sell candle. Price will come back. Yeah, the black one. Yes, mm -hmm. the black one, which is my sell candle. Price will come there. So that's where you want to wait for price to come. So right now, I can do this. I can remove this. Or oh, let me leave this to you. Now that price has come, this is the four hours. If price come back here, what am I going to do? I look for a 15 minutes or 30 minutes break of structure here to confirm. Like you want to be doubly short. I think the English is correct. You want to be extra short to have an extra confirmation, extra confluence. To build uh -huh. your confidence, you have to wait for another 15 minutes break of structure here. Uh -huh. So can we check the 15 minutes now? Let's see whether there was a break of structure here. Okay. All right, so let's go to 15 minutes. I have to delete the other uh, line so that you'll be able to see clearly. This is 15 minutes. This is the zone, okay? This is the entire zone. Now price broke structure here. And price is coming back here. You have to be patient. Price broke structure on the 26th of February. Price came back here on the 2nd of March. That's about four or five days interval. Now that price has come here, let's see a 15 minutes. So that was a break of structure. You have to zoom it out very I love to zoom it out so that you can see clearly. Can you see the break of structure already? Mm, yeah. Price created this low. What can you find? Price created this high. Is that correct? Yes. Price came now into your zone, created this low. Price created this. It was not a high because it didn't close above this. And price created a lower low. And what happened? Price broke structure. Is that correct? Yes. A high, a low, a high, a low, and price broke structure. So this one should give you an extra confidence to pull the trigger. Yes, that should give you an extra confidence to pull the trigger. So you had this high created, clean, it was clear. Price created another high. Price created another low. Price now created the higher high. So now that price has broken structure, you start looking below. Start looking at the low. You are not going to buy from here. You know price will definitely come back. And where is price going to come back to? A fair value gap. So let's see. You see this gap? Look at that gap. That's where price came back in. This is happening at your zone. You see that gap? Let, let's, let me tell you to 30 minutes so that you see it clearer. You see the fair value gap. Now, so you see I'm using... Please, try and unmute. Try and unmute so that I can, I can hear you and be sure you are following me. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, it was the network. Sorry about that. So, no, no, it's okay, but... so that's the 30 minutes. You can see that was a break of structure. What can you find here? A fair value gap. Mm -hmm. Here's the gap. You see that? That's the gap to this gap. So what did I advise mm -hmm. you to do? Play 50% of the fair value gap. That's the 50%. That's your entry. Stop loss at mm -hmm. this low. Stop loss now is at this low. Mm -hmm. So... What will be your first take profit? This high. This high will be your first take profit. So first take profit will be here. And that's a one to four. Price gave you one to four here as your first take profit. That's a one to four. I know you, I think you, you know what a one to four is. If you are risking the $10 there, you are making 40. 40 though. 
Yeah, if it's five dollars, you're making twenty. Next day profit will be here. The price get to that zone. The price get to this zone. Yes. The price get to this zone. You are not talking. Yeah. I said the price get to that zone. Yeah, it went okay. above it. Yeah, so from this place you enter to this place, that's a one to eight. So if you're risking five dollars, you should make it like um five by eight. You're already making a good 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 money there. Good now, now if you are going to take your final profit, this is the high you are targeting. <laughs> can, you, the, can you treat today? That's the how the weekly price is going there. That's the weekly. That was where price broke structure. I remember now. Price broke structure. Oh. So price, you have to take this high on the weekly, on the daily. Oh. So if price get to this zone, mm -hmm. I'll give you one to 26. That's a one to 26. So if you're asking mm -hmm. $1, you're making $26. If your risk was was $20 there, you should be making like $520. That's fantastic. So it's not, it's something that pay attention to it and understand structure. That's just the model I showed you now. Price break structure on weekly, allow four hours to give you a break before you start selling. Then allow price to come in. You see price broke structure and came back. Exactly the, what we are having here. Price broke structure, if you remember, so we waited for price to return back to this zone. And the price come there, yes, price came there. Now when price came, we waited for price to break structure again. Waited for price, price broke structure again, a high, a low, price closed above. So when price closed above, you wait at the last candle. Because that last candle becomes your order block. Price came there. And from there, you start looking for a 30 minutes or 15 minutes entry on the fair value gap. And that's exactly what you have. So, price still broke structure here. And you see how that uh, 30 minutes give us a clean fair value gap, like very clean. High, low, high, low, fair value gap, you got entry. Boom. Stop loss at the low. A price is flying away. Flying away, yeah. So that's just it's simple. Now, before price go to this zone, before price go to this zone, did you see that price came in and traded down? When price traded mm -hmm. down, you can look for another entry to buy. So let's look for another entry here when price started trading down. Let me bring out this holy line. The high, a low. I know I'm bullish, so any break above the high, I will buy. The high, the low. Price gave another high. Price created a low. And what happened? Price broke above this high. What do you call that? Break of structure. So once you have a break of structure, what do you look out for? Fair value gap. So that's the fair value gap. Here to this one. See, price came back to the fair value gap. But price didn't play the 50% at this scenario. Price played open of the fair value gap. So possibly you waited here, you'd have missed it. But since it's on 30 minutes, you can play open of 50%. But I used to like 50%. Uh, if it's on 15 minutes, sometimes I've just played the open, all right? But open of the 50% is fine because I don't know your equity. I don't know how much that you funded your account with. So now price is just fine. If you see price, this is what we happen right now. This is what is going to happen, okay? This is what we happen. Let me show you. Price will come back for this. It doesn't matter how long, okay? You are saying, all right, can I join this buy that is flying up? Yes, you can join. You have to wait for price mm -hmm. to return back here. You have to wait for price to come back here. Price will come back. Yes, price will come back because price wants to take this overall high. Price wants to take this overall high. So if you are going to join them to take this high, you have to wait for price here. 
not to to start from the top there. No, 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 you can't, you can't, you can't. You are going to blow your account. Look at it, a high, a low has been created. Now price has created a high. So price will come back here to this bracket. Price will come back here. Then price goes up. When price goes up, that's the structure. So you have to be patient, allow price. But no, don't say, oh, price is selling. You saw one candle is bearish. You now jump inside. No, you don't do that. You allow price to return back here. So when price return back here, you look for a 15 minutes break of structure here and play the fair value gap. You will get entry. So stop loss will now be here. You get a 15 minutes break of structure. And then boom, you take your first entry. You should still get more than one to 20 on this trade if you put your attention on it. Can I use another asset to just explain before this call will drop? Yeah. Or you can you can even try the the, the favorite one, those boom and crash, especially boom one thousand. All right, let's I don't know whether you like that one. Mm. Yeah, I, I trade boom one thousand. So boom five hundred has already gone. So right but now. selling or buying. Whether selling or buying, you just is the structure I want to trade. So this boom 1,000, price has been seriously bullish. And I said it in the last call, that price will come to take this high. See, price has come to take it. So price will come back to take this high. So we are bullish, price will take out all these highs, okay? So now let's look at the current structure. This was a high, this was a low, this was a higher high because the body closed that way. So now what are you expecting? Price should come back to this last time. You saw price came in there. Price came. You see that fair value gap? Mm -hmm. That's where price came in. Then move up. Yes, price came in. You know, I, I dropped this earlier. But price took us yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, I think over the weekend I saw something like that. Yeah, price took us out and the price left. So when price came here, what we were looking at mm -hmm. is that we should have a 30 minutes break of structure. The price came to that fair value. Gap. So let's see 30 minutes. Look at where price came there. 30 minutes break of structure is what we were looking for. So you see, price broke here. So that's the break of structure. Price created this yeah. high this low price broke above. So we start looking to enter on the last candle, which was this, which was your other block. So that's the other block. So price actually came here and we us out. Look at the week. Price just came, look at that week. Took us out. Mm -hmm. If not, our entry was here, if you remember, our entry was on this favor look at. This favor look at, that was where our entry was. Price to go south, and price has not been able 